GM and Honda have been collaborating for years to develop hydrogen fuel cells, and at long last, these efforts are bearing fruit. Commercial production of hydrogen fuel cell stacks has just commenced here at the jointly run and appropriately named Fuel Cell System Manufacturing Facility in Brownstown, Michigan. Today is a big day for us. With commercial, the, the commencement of commercial production, we can now start to deploy these fuel cell systems in all of the applications that both companies have been pursuing. You know, it's just an exciting thing for us to be here. It's a, it's a phenomenal event. You know, think about what we've done here as, a, as two companies. We've, we're gonna help achieve GM 000 vision. You know, that's, that's a major contributor to that. So we're pleased about that. The Fuel Cell System Manufacturing Plant, FCSM for short, is a 50-50 joint venture between these two automakers. This project kicked off back in 2017 when GM and Honda invested a combined $85 million, though both companies have been developing fuel cells since long before 2017. Honda, for instance, has been tinkering with them since 1986, and of course GM's done loads of research as well. And these efforts are really what makes this partnership work. Honda and GM are number one and number two in the number of patents around fuel cell. We both have different experiences. We, they fit together in a very complementary fashion without getting into the details of you know, who brought what or who had better cold weather performance and who had better um, packaging and, and efficiency for power output. Um, it, overall, it was very complementary and we've been able to, to leverage the experience of both companies to bring something even better for our customers. At the heart of it, both companies are relentlessly pursuing the zero tailpipe emission technology, right? So that brings us together. We have very common goals, very common uh, sort of values, and, and we connect on those values. Um, so there's always differences, but we connect on those values of safety and quality and, and you know, focus on the customer. Even though they've been around for decades, hydrogen fuel cells are still something of an emerging technology. With commercial production underway, though, Honda and GM will be able to get many more of these systems out into the world. The hydrogen fuel cell stacks that are made here at FCSM will go into Honda passenger vehicles, the Honda CRV fuel cell electric vehicle. Uh, GM has a number of applications with partners like Autocar for Class 8 trucks and we're both working to, to build that business and, and attract new customers. But it's not just passenger vehicles and large commercial trucks. Fuel cells can be used in many other applications as well, some that you might not expect. What is Hydrotech and what are we standing in front of, this giant box? Okay, so Hydrotech is the technology that General Motors makes that runs on hydrogen. In this box is the mobile power generation system. Uh, it uses a uh, General Motors fuel cell power cube as its power unit and it runs on hydrogen. What we use it for is to DC fast charge cars. Mm. So you probably recognize the CCS oh, yeah. standard, connection here. Standard plug, very familiar. Yep. Yeah. So you pull your EV up here in, I'm assuming, a remote location perhaps because you don't need to be tied into the grid if you're generating the power right here, right? So you pull up, plug in, and juice the battery. That's right. I mean, as we see more and more electric vehicles out and about, you know, one of the things our customers say is, you know, where can I charge it? What solutions do we have? And a lot of groups are looking for zero emission solutions to achieve that goal. So with the mobile power generation system, what we do, using hydrogen, we've got a zero emission system that can really meet the charging demand anywhere we might need. What is the maximum charging rate that this unit puts out? Can you share that? Yeah, absolutely. So this system we developed uh, around three years ago, uh, and it uh, charges at a peak uh, rate of 100 kilowatts and a steady rate of around 60 kilowatts. Now, we've seen uh, more and more demand for higher and higher power rates. Always. Uh, yeah, so this has been really good. Uh, if you know, you're just trying to charge in the middle of nowhere, you know, the fastest charger that you can get is the charges, charger that's right there. Yeah. So this has been really good to meet that you demand. You make do with a level two if you have to. You will, yeah, but this is you know, way better than that. Yeah. Um, so we've been uh, continuously developing this technology so that we have higher and higher power capabilities um, and looking at how to best serve the customers from that perspective. Quality control is a major factor in building hydrogen fuel cells. 
there are literally hundreds of potential failure points. But so far, and perhaps surprisingly, GM and Honda haven't had any issues in this area. They're a very, very complex system. There's over 300 plates in each system, and each plate has to be perfect. The concept behind this entire facility is zero defects. And so far, that's proven true, that the, the systems that have been manufactured here, even the pre-production ones, not one has failed yet. So we're, we're excited to see that we can actually achieve zero defects. Now, unfortunately, it's still pretty early days for hydrogen fuel cells, and neither GM nor Honda will comment on how much power their stack puts out or how many of these units they can build in this facility each year. But still, this is huge news as the automotive industry pushes forward toward a greener and cleaner future. Next up, click right over here to learn why the North American charging standard is poised to revolutionize EV ownership. It's kind of a big deal.